In this video for AutoPipe Connect Edition, we'll take a look at modifying the table color and font and relocating the north arrow, the drawing number, and the headers in our stress isometrics. We'll do this by opening up Open Plant Isometrics Manager, or OPIM, which we use in AutoPipe to create our stress isometrics. So if I were to save a default stress isometric of this model, in my settings, I can see where the drawing frame file comes from. This is based on the drawing size that I have selected. So I'll run through creating a stress isometric, but I'm going to apply a break point at point B1. In the stress isometric that's created by default, I see my global axis is in the top left corner. My drawing number is in the bottom right corner. I see that I have some headers, like my project number in the correct spot. And I see the default text that's used to create my context table on the right side. Now, if I want to change any or all of this, I can do so by modifying the border drawing file. So I'll need to open up the border drawing file from the right folder which was called out in my settings. So C, Program, Data, Bentley, your Auto Pipe Connect version, ISO Extractor, Borders, and then the DGN folder. And in there, we have the different border files. The B border is what we are currently using to create this file. So that's the drawing I'm going to open. In here, I want to turn on my text nodes. So under Settings, View Attributes, I'm going to show my text nodes. And I want to make some changes to those text nodes, starting with the text node number 80 that we see, which is defined for the data table. So I can do that by coming into Element, Text Styles, and under the report style, text style, I can make changes to my font. So this may be a bit extreme, but we'll make some changes just to show that it can be changed. We can make it a bold text style, for example. Now, we really don't recommend doing this in your text. The table is set up with the specific text uh, in order to actually be formatted correctly. And if you do change the text size or the text font, you may see that the data table will not be formatted correctly anymore. Um, but just to show you that it can be done, let's also change the size of the text too. And when I do that, I can then save this and you can see how it will change within this drawing border file. The other thing I can do is I can relocate my text nodes. So we can see here that I have uh, some text nodes in the top left corner for my global axis. And if I want to relocate that, I can select those and just drag them to wherever I may want to relocate those. So let's say I want them to be at the bottom left, for example, I'll drag it to that position. Down at the bottom right of the drawing border file, I have my text nodes for my drawing number. If I want them moved, maybe I want that at the top right, for instance, I can move that. And the other thing I can move are the text nodes for my headers, which are specifically for my project number, the analyzed by input, checked by, and approved by inputs. Those I won't move because they make sense exactly where they are. The others, maybe you have a preference and you want to move those. So as I did, you can do that. With these changes made, I'm just going to turn off my text nodes. And I just need to save this drawing file for my border. I can close out of OPIM. And again, in AutoPipe, I can go through saving my stress isometric as the default. Again, I'm still using the same drawing size, which is using the same drawing frame file, but I know I've made some changes to that drawing frame file at this point. So I should see those when I save my stress isometric and it opens up. 
So in my isometric that is created, I can see the changes that I've made. I can see my global axis is now in the bottom left corner. I can see my drawing number is in the top right corner. And I see the changes to the text in my data table. Now, again, you can see that we don't recommend this because if you do change the text in the data table, this will probably make that text go outside of the table section, and then you will need to make adjustments. If I didn't change the size, it might not have, so you can probably change uh, the, the font, depending on what font you change it to, a little bit easier. Um, but it is showing you that this is a possibility and the steps that you can walk through to do so. Okay, thank you for watching this video on how to modify the table color and font and how to relocate some of our text nodes on our isometrics that are created from Autopipe Connect using OPIM.